Hello, today we will be looking at 16 practical tips that you can use to reduce your blood pressure without taking blood pressure medications. Yes. Now, when it comes to blood pressure management or the reduction of blood pressure, you can use medications and you can use lifestyle modifications. Now, when the blood pressure is high, you may need blood pressure medication. However, when the blood pressure is controlled to some extent, you can use lifestyle modification in three ways. Number one, you could use it to further reduce your blood pressure. Number two, you can use lifestyle modification to keep your blood pressure controlled. Number three, you can use lifestyle modification to completely remove your need for blood pressure medication. So in this video, we will be looking at 16 or thereabout practical tips that you can use to reduce your blood pressure without taking blood pressure medications. Before we start listing those practical points, it is important we look at the different categories of blood pressure. There is the normal blood pressure, which is usually below 120, 80, and then prehypertension blood pressure, which is 120 to 139 over 80 to 89. Then the first stage of hypertension is 140 to 159 systolic, then 90 to 99 diastolic then we have the second stage of hypertension which is 160 over 100 and above so that means 160 and above 100 and above the next important thing i want to mention before we jump into the 16 practical tips is that there is a special diet called the dietary approaches to stop hypertension diet or the dash diet and this is a medically designed and studied diet plan that focuses on reducing blood pressure this was shown to significantly lower both numbers of both the systolic and the diastolic of the blood pressure the diet is high in vegetables fruits low fat dairy products whole grains and lean protein it is also low in sodium added sugars and fat so let's get into the tips the first tip is don't add excess salt to your foods avoid adding more than a pinch of salt to your food when you cook it and don't add salt once you are getting ready to eat or when the food is served and this is because salt makes your body retain fluid which can lead to an increase in blood pressure number two reduce eating processed foods processed foods are typically loaded with salt and other additives and be sure to read labels and buy low salt low sodium or unsalted foods foods that commonly have a ton of salt in them are prepared canned and bottled foods also avoid prepared condiments there are some condiments such as ketchup barbecue sauce and other sauces that have a high ton of salt in them so avoid or at least reduce eating processed foods number three eat a moderate lean diet focus on moderation and eating a balanced diet try eating a plant-based diet with lots of fruits and vegetables try to have at least one meal each day that mainly consists of fruits and vegetables number four reduce foods that are high in sugar this means you should avoid candy bars and processed carbs and soft drinks and soda eat healthy meats like chicken or fish if you are craving for sugar eat a piece of fruit instead of a piece of candy or foods that are high in sugar number five increase your fiber intake fiber won't automatically lower your blood pressure on its own but it helps to regulate your digestion and keep you healthy in general most vegetables are high in fiber especially those with leafy greens and there are many fruits nuts and legumes like beans and peas that are also rich in fibers as a whole grain products number six Eat foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Consume fish twice a week or more as they will provide you with omega-3 fatty acids, lower fats called triglycerides and promote overall heart health. Fish is high in protein and many types of fish including salmon, mackerel, herring also have high levels of of omega-3 fatty acid and the omega-3 fatty acid are highest in the oils of the fish so if you eat canned fish don't discard the oil eat it 
along with the fish number seven increase your intake of dietary potassium now too much potassium can be harmful but some of it is necessary you may need more potassium if you are physically active and less if you are elderly and sick some foods that are naturally high in potassium include bananas tomatoes potatoes beans onions oranges and fresh and dried fruits number eight talk to your doctor about adding supplements to your diet many natural remedies have scientific evidence to show that they can actually lower high blood pressure but you should never attempt to replace your blood pressure medications or drugs without talking with your doctor the top supplements that may assist in lowering your blood pressure are coenzyme q10 omega-3 fish oil garlic curcumin also from turmeric ginger cayenne olive oil nuts black cohosh hawthorn magnesium chromium and you can get these from amazon or any online retail store but first ask your doctor if these are safe for you to take in addition or in replacement of your blood pressure reducing medication number nine stop smoking now there are stimulants in cigarette smoke like nicotine that can increase your blood pressure if you stop smoking you may be able to lower your blood pressure help your heart to become healthier and reduce your chances of getting other diseases including lung cancer number 10 use less caffeine stop drinking coffee or soda and other caffeinated beverages and that will help to lower your blood pressure even one or two cups of coffee can raise blood pressure to an unhealthy level so it is best to cut it out completely if you are a person who drinks a lot of caffeine like more than four caffeinated drinks a day you may need to taper or gradually reduce it taper yourself off caffeine to prevent withdrawal symptoms such as headaches number 11 lose weight carrying around extra weight causes your heart to work harder all the time and this increases your blood pressure by losing this extra weight through changes in your diet and exercising more often your heart won't have to beat as hard and you will lower your blood pressure number 12 avoid recreational use of drugs and alcohol excessive use of drugs and alcohol can damage many organs in your body including the liver and the kidneys and this may contribute to high blood pressure number 13 reduce chronic stress if you are under chronic stress where you produce that stress hormone every day like cortisol then your cardiovascular system will naturally go into a state where it is overworking this overworking happens because the stress hormone increases your pulse respiration and heart rate your body thinks you need to either fight or run and is naturally getting your body ready to do one of these things and so learn to manage stress and reduce chronic stress number 14 meditate to calm yourself and reduce your blood pressure take time every day to calm yourself as this can reduce your overall stress simply observing and slowing your respiration and your respiratory rate produces a significant reduction in blood pressure when you are meditating you can simply focus on breathing deeply and slowly do this until you fall asleep or you feel relaxed number 15 take a walk or do some other types of exercise every day walk every day for at least 20 to 30 minutes at moderate speed many studies have demonstrated that the mere act of walking have a suppression effect on hypertension and if you can't walk outside use a treadmill inside number 16 supplement your diet with some plant remedies although not scientifically verified there are several remedies which are thought to help hypertension like taking garlic extract to help prevent heart disease high blood pressure and cholesterol are also said to be affected by garlic hibiscus that is zobo or hibiscus drink can also act like a diuretic and may have actions that mimic medications such as ACE inhibitors and hypertension medications and drugs. You can also try ginger to naturally reduce blood pressure. Drinking coconut water which contains potassium and magnesium can help with the normal muscle function. Taking fish oil which is a concentration of omega-3 fatty acids may help 
with fat metabolism and reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. So you should talk to your doctor and consider supplementing your diet with some of these plant and animal remedies. If your blood pressure stays at or above 140 over 90 millimeter of mercury, even after using these tips, while still watching your blood pressure, you should see a doctor. In many cases, prescription drugs and medications must be used and in these situations, the most effective antihypertensive regimen or protocol is to combine both lifestyle changes and medication. Did you find this video very helpful? Don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section for a free ebook titled Fire Your Doctor. Take charge of your health and happiness.